Securing funding for a PhD can be a daunting task, but there are several avenues you can explore to increase your chances of success. In this video, I'm going to share some approach I have used and others have used to become successful. So as usual, take your pens and papers, open your laptop, take notes, and let's dive right into it. The first avenue is to use advertised positions. Keep an eye on websites that list PhD positions such as academic job boards and even university career pages. Some universities have portions of their website dedicated to advertised position. You can also follow relevant accounts on social media such as LinkedIn and Twitter to stay up to date on the latest opportunities. On my Twitter page at awesome underscore ama, I share advertised positions. There are other Twitter pages that also do so. And guess what? I have good news for you. I have collated some of the websites you could use to find these advertised positions. All you have to do is to go to my channel and in the search button over here, just type website. And this video will give you some of the websites to find advertised positions. And the next thing is how do you use LinkedIn to find these advertised positions? As usual, I got you covered. On my channel, just type LinkedIn and this is a video that comes up which just shows you the keywords you need and how to find these advertised positions. Yes, you are right. I got you. Number two, research proposals. One effective way to secure funding is to create a research proposal that aligns with the interests of potential supervisors or funders. Begin by identifying universities and departments that have programs in your field of interest, and then research the faculty members who are working in that area. Once you have shortlist, once you have a shortlist of potential supervisors, draft a well-crafted email with your research proposal attached. Make sure to include a clear subject line that highlights your proposal. I know now you're wondering, like, how do you write a research proposal? Don't worry, don't worry about that. Go to my channel and type research proposal. I have an extensive conversation with a postdoc fellow on how to prepare a research proposal for grad school. And even the good thing that there's an example included. If I have a number of you who are interested in writing a research proposal, let me know in the comment section and we could create a group and we could work together to see how best to put these research proposals together. But it all depends on the number of people who are interested. But use this video, craft something and just let me know and we'll see what we can do about it. Also, once you've crafted the research proposal, you will have to send an email to the supervisor and you would have to send a code email. And I have created a video on how to send code emails. So... Take your time, look at it. I've gotten a lot of feedback from people who have used this template and they've gotten responses from professors. So learn from this and draft something amazing. Three, research grants. Look for professors or research groups who have received research grants in your area of interest. You can often find this information on university websites or through academic databases. Review their research work to get a sense of the type of research they conduct and take note on how your research proposal might fit in with their work. Then craft a strong email that explains your research interests and how they align with their grant-funded research. By demonstrating your expertise and enthusiasm, you increase your chances of securing funding. Wondering where to find them or how to know a professor has gotten a research grant? Don't worry. You got Barbara. So you go to my channel, then you go a short funding. And this video will give you some places where you could find professors who have gotten money and they're looking for students to work with. And finally, to end, I would suggest you watch this video. You just go to my life and this video. This video is very, very important because you can put all this into practice, but just a little mistake you make might be derail you so this is a video i had with the canadian professors on common mistakes prospective graduate students do when they are applying to graduate school and they are contacting professors kindly listen to the information we share and apply and make good use of it very soon you are going to hear good news and you'll be working like this guy if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up leave it in the comment section kindly share with your friends and family because this is the way my channel can grow so you're here for me again